What do we got? Does size matter, Clayton? <laughs> well, depends on what you're talking about. Your woman might say it does. So we have a few turbos to open. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of comparison between really old tech and brand new tech, at least when it comes to Garrett turbos. So let's open these up. So we'll just go through a couple of things with each turbo. Obviously there's a zillion different combinations between turbine housing and compressor housing and wheel sizes and ARs. There's a bunch of different stuff. We're not going to get into all the turbo technology. If you want to do some research on um, you know, what turbo sizing, AR, turbine housing is right for your application, by all means, go on the Google train and find that out. Or if you need help sourcing a turbo, we not only provide Garrett turbos, we sell Precision, Borg Warner, and Zonal Rotor as well. So if you have any questions, you're trying to size a turbo for your specific application, be it streetcar, drag car, road course, whatever it may be, we can help you out. So the first turbo, T-Series, good for about 500 horsepower. This one happens to be a journal bearing, but the ball bearing version is like almost exactly the same as this. Uh, all the rest are going to be ball bearing turbos. This is super old tech. These things have been around forever and are on a lot of cars. The next turbo is a GT series, which again has been around for a very long time. Very common turbo. Same turbo that would be on Kayla's R32 turbo, which we can link above. This would be a GT3582, very common on the VRs, and some 180s. The next turbo is, we have these actually in horsepower, so as we go, um, oh, I didn't say how much horsepower this one was good for. Yeah. This one's good for 650 horsepower. Um, the next turbo is Garrett's brand new G series. It's a little bit of a jump with this one. This one's a pretty big jump. So as you can tell, if we compare the two, this one's good for 650. This one's good for 900. And it's, I don't know if you can really tell in the video, but it's actually smaller. It's smaller, yeah. So this one does have the stainless tur uh, V-band turbine housing, which does make it a little bit more compact but the actual turbo itself is a more compact unit. Jumping up to the next turbo, which would be kind of the grandfather to this one. This is a GTX Gen 2 3584. And this one's good for a thousand horsepower. So if we put them all close together, although this is the newest technology, um, turbo sizing, you know, doesn't really mean a whole lot when you're talking about overall size. A lot of people will look at turbos and be like, oh, that's a huge turbo, it must make lots of power. That's not always the case. The kind of the point of the video really was to just show you how far technologies come. If we wanted a thousand horsepower turbo in a style like this, it would legitimately be way bigger. Um, so, so are you saying bigger's not always better? Yeah, bigger's not always better. Um, the good thing about the, the differences between these, the good thing about it is we can now get a very high potential horsepower turbo in a very compact unit to get into very small applications. So on the Volkswagens, a lot of cases, the turbo is behind the engine and we're really limited on space. So having something like this really works well. And this specific turbo, for everybody following on, along on our YouTube channel, this is for the all-wheel drive uh, Mark V conversion car that we're doing. We happen to get the cylinder head back today, and also the turbo showed up. So, 900 horsepower unit for that one. We're not chasing 900 horsepower in it. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah, so everybody that's guessed in the previous videos, that's not what we're trying for, uh, but we want to make sure there's some headroom. This thing's constantly evolving, so, 
we're going to make sure we get to our horsepower goals and have a little bit of extra room to grow with it. So let's talk about the turbine housing since I kind of, you know, glazed over that. This is a T3, this is T4, and these are obviously V-band style turbine housing. So again, fitment wise, this is going to make it a lot easier to clock um, and make fitment quite a bit easier when you're getting into using four bolt, whether it's T3, T25, whatever you're basically subjected to how it's bolted onto the, the manifold. Another thing to take into consideration is although these are very similar sized and the, the, you know, the turbo on the end here can make a th almost, well, double the horsepower this one can, but it's very similar sized. The reason that is is simply come down to wheel size, materials, you know, the larger turbine wheel, larger compressor wheel, the way they're cut, more fins. Clayton, you can zoom in. Yep. We got a lot more fins in some of these compared to early, early tech. All that goes into making the same size turbo physically flow a lot more air to be able to produce more horsepower. So, yes, they're similar size, but there's a whole lot of stuff that goes into making this flow a lot more air than they previously did. With that being said, there's a price to pay for new technology. This turbo in the middle here costs over three times, I think, what this turbo on the end costs. It's a big, big difference. Keep in mind, this is a journal bearing. This is, these are all ball bearings. So this would be the cheaper of all of them for and sure. This is the newest of the new tech from here. Yeah, the G series. There are bigger versions of this now. I think you can get it in a 1250 horsepower, which is gonna look, again, very similar to this size. Um, but yeah, this is the newest tech. Small, compact, lots of flow. We haven't had one of these on any cars yet, a G series here. And luckily, as I mentioned, it's going on a two liter and we're gonna see what it can make. So, should we bring in the precision to compare? Let's do it, just for- Just for laughs, Eagles. LOLs? Yeah. yeah. Or JKs? Oh, yeah, yeah. JKs. Hold. <laughs> so, comparison. So you bought this compensation or? No, not in this case. Um, so this one is substantially bigger than these. Again, it's come down to the center section, the frame size, everything. In yeah, this specific- Completely different turbo. Completely different, this is a precision. And this one's good for like 1300, I think is what it's rated for. Um, although, you know, comparison to a thousand horsepower turbo, it's substantially bigger. However, this one is designed to meet rules and requirements for a specific racing class. So this was basically the biggest possible turbo we could put on my drag car to meet the rules. So yes, it's big, um, but it's designed to flow a lot of air. So we just showing you that one for comparison. Um, it's Dwarfs substantially bigger. Yeah. There. You know, if I could fit this turbo and it would do everything that this one would do, by all means, I would have you know, went with a Garrett again, but for me to get everything I could within the rules, this is a class spec World Cup final True Street Turbo. So, so again, buying within your means of what you exactly. need for the application. Exactly. So this is kind of high level stuff. You, There's lots of stuff, like I said. We're skimming the surface. We're skimming the surface. I've sourced a lot of turbos for a lot of different applications. So if you have any questions or you're looking to purchase the turbo again, we don't just sell Garrett turbos. Be sure to drop a comment or drop us an email and we can help you out. This just happened to be some old tech and new tech stuff that we wanted to show you guys just for comparison because again, the turbos essentially are getting smaller and making more and more horsepower. So Clayton, am I forgetting anything? There's probably lots in there, but there's a, there's a lot that goes into this stuff, um, but it's turbos have come so far that, you know, the world on a four cylinder or a six cylinder run, twin turbos and stuff, it's becoming less and less of a necessity because these turbos are getting to be able to flow so much air and still spool really quick 
Um, so yeah, there's a lot more videos coming. We, I think we haven't had a video in like two weeks, but we got one coming for the drag car. Um, the the all-wheel drive car, the engine's gonna start getting together. We have a few special videos coming up for the end of the year. Clayton, we're gonna have fun with those, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So on that note, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to ask them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's try to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think so, we just hit 65. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Ben. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, GoPro, start recording. <laughs> <laughs>